Okay, team, let's rewind. Here's what's been happening on Ghostwriter. The facts. First, the students at Hurston School got a really scary message about their principal on the computers from someone named Max Mouse. Our computers have been invaded by a hacker. Now, a hacker is someone who tries to sneak into someone else's computer system. The team wants to know who this hacker, Max Mouse, is, so they can stop it from invading the computers and writing more messages. They figure out that Max Mouse gets into the school computers by using a modem. A modem is like... It's like a telephone for computers. Computers with modems can talk to each other. And the team thinks Max Mouse goes to Hurston, knows a lot about computers, and is mad at Miss Kelly. And Max Mouse may chew gum. But they can't see Max Mouse. They only see the words Max Mouse writes. So they ask Ghostwriter to look for it inside the computer. But Max Mouse is very fast, so it's hard for Ghostwriter to catch up. Then, Tina finds a piece of paper in the trash with special passwords for getting into the school computer. And there's a wad of chewing gum stuck to it. So far, the team has three suspects. Calvin Ferguson, who told Lenny he's Max Mouse. Erica Dansby, editor of the school newspaper, who knows a lot about computers and hackers. And Janice Hall, who got an A on a very hard computer quiz. And her quiz was in the trash with the special passwords. Meanwhile, Jasmine was arrested because her name was in a computer police report saying she had used stolen credit cards. Could this be the hacker at work? Then Ghostwriter found something in the computer that looks like trouble for Lenny. T.A. T.A. Gotta stop this hacker before Lenny gets arrested like Jasmine. Who is Max Mouse? And what is it up to now? Get a pencil in your casebook out and start piecing the puzzle because the Ghostwriter team is on the case. Can you imagine me and my parents down at the police station? And all because someone put a notice on the police computer to pick me up for using stolen credit cards. What a dirty trick. And even after I convinced the police that I didn't do it, they couldn't figure out how the message got on the computer. So I asked them if I could see the notice. And when they showed it to me, guess what was at the bottom of it? Well, what was it? That little M.M. symbol, which is Max Mouse. I think Max Mouse is trying to get Lenny in trouble with the police, too. It's terrible. But don't worry. My friends and I are working on catching him. We'll get him. Well, don't get yourself in trouble, computer cop. Max Mouse is one mean rodent. Yeah, I know, but we can head... about Max Mouse Lenny. We'll stick by you if he gets you in trouble. Right now, I'm worried about my report card. <sighs> yes, I did great. I got an A in Global Studies. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but Lenny, you've been failing tests in that class. How can you get an A? Hey, I got an A, okay? Wait a minute. The message from Ghostwriter. Lenny Fraser, D.A. Do you think the hacker could have changed your grade from a D to an A? No! Why don't you want me to get an A? I do want you to get an A. But keeping the wrong grade, if it is a wrong grade, is like cheating. So what are you gonna do, be a goody goody snitch? Who said anything about snitching? Skip it. Tina? your heart's desire be, Lenny? Why don't you give me an A in Global Studies? Your wish is my command. Cal! Great, a fire drill. I could use a break. Lenny, look at this report card. A D in computer. I've never gotten anything less than a B plus in this class. Now, Mr. O'Coin can't do this to me when I'm trying to get into the high school science. There he is. Did you change my grade in global studies? Sure. Thanks. Whew. Wow, it really was a mistake. 
It's really supposed to be an A minus. A. Okay, everybody, gum out, eyes up front, please. Does you go? Why would anyone have a grudge against me? Because you're the principal. And? And principals have to make a lot of unpopular decisions. Well, we try. I'm serious. Max Mouse could be someone who's holding a grudge over a decision you made. Well, it's possible. But I can't think of anyone in particular right now. Janice, I know you were there. I'm thirsty. Another fire drill? Lenny, can I talk to you a moment? I guess you must be disappointed by your grade and global studies. But what if there was a mistake in the grade? I'm sorry, Lenny, that D was no mistake. But look, you can, you can take a makeup quiz next week. I'll even help you study after school, okay? Oh, man. Wow. Oh, not another. This is crazy. Come on, let's go. Quickly, quickly. False alarms during one day. Kids are starting to freak out. Yeah, the hacker story is really heating up. You think Max Mouse could be using computers to set off false alarms too? Positively. <laughs> and we're just getting to the good part. Good part? Time bombs, assassin boxes, a really grungy hacker mind. Loaded with all kinds of fun stuff. What's an assassin box? A device that sends deadly electrical currents through the phone lines wipe out entire computers. Wow. Time bombs are techno-hip, too. The hacker sneaks an innocent-looking program into the computer. It just sits there until some time in the future. Then suddenly, your computer goes haywire, freaks out. Hacker-driven mind control. Time bombs can be really destructive. Attention, students. This is Miss Kelly. All computers will be shut down for the rest of the day to be checked. Don't worry, we'll catch this hacker. <laughs> they might as well wave a dead chicken over the system. Shutting down the computers won't stop a time bomb. It can just... Not again! I haven't even started my lunch! Hacker power! Saxon boss. Time bomb. Hey, pathetic nerds. Somebody better try to catch me, because I'm bored. And when I get bored, I think of more fun things to do. Come chat on the bulletin board. Max Mouse. It looks like Max Mouse wants someone to try and catch him. Yeah, but where's this bulletin board? It must be in the school somewhere. Let's look. Right. I'm going to get the casebook and copy down that message. Meet me at my place after school. Check.
got it. Another false alarm? I can't believe it. I'm sorry, Mr. Johnson. Something important came up. I can't work with you this afternoon. Lenny, you'll have to take that makeup test on Monday if you're going to raise your grade. All right. I'll work with you at lunchtime tomorrow, OK? Wait. Calvin, tell me the truth. Are you Max Master, aren't you? Did you change my grade in global studies? Yeah, sure. We aim to please. Look, this is serious, Calvin. If you change my grade, if you're Max Mouse, then I'll... What's the matter? My best friend died last night. That's awful. Attila was more than just a bird. Well, how parents live forever. Not Attila. He's been sick. Great shot of Attila, don't you think? Yeah. She is a beautiful bird. Thanks. So are you. It's very funny. I'm serious. Look, I gotta be going. Could you do me a huge favor? What? Attila deserves a decent burial, don't you think? Would you mind saying a few words over Attila's grave? I wrote a poem. Ugh! Is this Attila? Wake up, bulletin board bozo. This is 1993, Maximus. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Ghost Rider's found out who Max Mouse is. <laughs> Better tell him. Yeah. Diego Strider would have trapped that computer mouse. Hey, wait a minute. Computer mouse, that's it. I bet that Max Mouse was talking about a computer bulletin board. What? A computer bulletin board is a place where you leave messages for people or chat through your modem. Morning computer words? Hey, chat. That's the word Max Mouse used in his pathetic nerds message. Come chat with me on the bulletin board. Bulletin board chat. So if we had a handle, we could chat with the hacker on the bulletin board. Right. But first, we need the bulletin board phone number to chat with Max Mouse. Maybe Ghostwright can find the bulletin board and give us the phone number. Yeah. But isn't there more than one computer bulletin board? How many could there be? I got a new program so I could make a computer-generated picture of Attila and put the poem on the bottom of it. At the end of the ceremony, you hold up the poem and, and I'll sing and play. Okay. But first, how about you saying goodbye to Attila? Well, he was a very nice parrot. No. Really say goodbye. Bye, Attila. I know Calvin will miss you. You had a very big vocabulary for a bird. Thanks, Lenny. Uh, now I will sing. My dog has fleas. You can sing along if you want. I don't know the tune. Attila, dear parrot. You were my best friend. You'd nip my nose sweetly right up to the end. You'd shout every day. You ever and always knew just what to say. What's up, Calvin? I'll miss you forever, those round beady eyes. But you know I never could take long goodbyes. So long, ciao, I'll see you. Farewell and adieu to the best bird in Brooklyn until I to you. You're kidding, Fort Cream Park? 
I can't believe you actually helped Calvin bury Attila. I can't believe it either. But there's more. Uh-oh. When Calvin confessed to me that he was Max Mouse, he promised to give me anything that I wanted. <laughs> I, um... I asked him to change my global studies grade to an A. So that's what Ghostwriter's message, Lenny Fraser DA meant. Max Mouse changed her grade from a D to an A. That makes Calvin look even more suspicious. I'm sorry I yelled at you this morning. I just wanted it to be true so much. I know. That's okay. One of my grades was wrong, too. And so were a few other kids. I bet Max Mouse changed them all. Ghostwriter must have found the bulletin board phone number. Oh, you were right, Tina. There's a lot more than one bulletin board phone number. How do we know which one? Max Mouse must have left the clue somewhere. Let's take another look at those messages. <laughs> Rewind. Hey, that's cute. Rewind. Yeah, it's something we do all the time. Take another look at the clues. Rewind. <laughs> hey, there's something we missed the first time. What? Five 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 three four five six. Five 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 three four five six. This is a pattern. The same seven numbers keep repeating themselves around the card. Phone numbers have seven numbers. Yeah. What's that number again? Five, 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 three, four, five, six. <laughs> Welcome to the Fun House Bulletin Board. We found All right. it! Yeah. <laughs> All right, yes. What's your handle? Uh, we need a handle. A special computer name. We only have 30 seconds. Uh, quick, quick, use Lenny. Or Jamal. It could be risky to use your own name. We have to make up something. Quick, quick! Um, LJ. Bad. LJ Bad. Okay. Uh, L for Lenny, J for Jamal. Bad. Yes! All right! Woo! Good job, good job. Look, there's Chet. Pick that. Got it. Someone called Mondo is chatting with Max Mouse. The Robin Hood of grades took from the grade rich and oh, the Robin Hood of grades took from the grade rich and gave to the grade poor. Sounds like Max Mouse did change the grades. Oh, there's more. Guess what? All the kids who got D's complained, but not one kid who got an A said a word. New? Who's that? There's more Max Mouse. People are so fake. My next trick will bring Hurston down. You gotta keep an eye on Erica, Calvin, Janice, and all the other gum chewers in the computer class. Yeah, who knows? Max Mouse could be hooking up an assassin box right now. Hey, what's the matter, you? Nothing. This blue mood wouldn't have anything to do with your report card by any chance, would it? Okay, let's see it. Lenny, this is good. And wow, an A for global studies. What's the problem? What? A computer hacker changed my grade. I really got a D, not an A. Mr. Johnson's gonna be so mad. Oh, Mr. Johnson's not gonna be mad if your grade was changed by a computer, Hick. Hacker. Whatever. The important thing is that you talk to him because you're having trouble with the class. See, you're just like all the other parents. All you care about is grades, grades, grades. I hate school. 
I only care about grades, Lenny, because they show when you're having trouble with a class. And whenever that's happening, I expect you to talk to the teacher and get some help with it. Okay? Okay. Good. Gee, sure wish that hawker could change those vegetables into a salad. It's hacker, Dad. Hacker. You say hacker, I say hacker. Let's make a great salad. Question, why do I want to go to the high school of science? Answer, my family says I was born with a mouthful of questions and a head full of ideas. So they weren't surprised when I told them I want to become a scientist who conducts experiments in space. Now I should say why. Hey, my essay! Ghost Rider, why are you scared of me? I chased it. Black Wham disappeared. Oh man, even Ghost Rider's having trouble finding him. Why did Max Mouse disappear? Disappear, disappear. If... If the computers are all connected by telephone, then maybe Max Mouse hung up the phone. the wrong grade in my report card. It said A, not D. And I don't mean you to be mad at me because I had nothing to do with it, even if I did tell Calvin person to get me an A in global science, okay? Well... Oh, and I'm sorry I didn't tell you before, but I sort of thought for a moment I could get away with it, you know? <laughs> well, look, I appreciate your honesty, and I'm glad you did tell me. Me too. Because I would have found out eventually, and then I would have been angry. Yeah, I sort of figured. Developing film for photography club. Now the whole role is ruined. I was meeting with Mr. Johnson. How'd it go? Great. You know, I'm really glad I told him about the grade. He helped me understand the government stuff I didn't get. So now I've got to take the quiz again on Monday, and if I pass, I get every student in the auditorium now. Now what's happened? If this Max Mouse hacker is among you students. And if he or she is responsible for these false alarms, this is no joke. A small child was nearly killed in a fire yesterday afternoon two blocks from here. Why? Because the firefighters were at Hurston School answering a false alarm. All our computers, including the fire alarm controls, will be shut down again today. The fire marshal will patrol the school the rest of the week. Tomorrow, the computers will be back on and school will go on as usual. But when Max Mouse is caught, he will answer both to me and to the police. I've never seen Miss Kelly so mad. 
can you blame her? This is all so crazy. Look, if you turn this off. But Miss Kelly said she was going to turn off the computers. Hey, look. Destruction? Oh, man. I can't believe this. Mr. O'Coin. What's up? What is it? Max Mouse just wrote, if you turn this off, destruction. Uh-oh. Destruction. <laughs>